Last night, we got a text from a customer and they asked, what holds more, the squares or the pouches? Thanks. And so I wrote kind of a, an in-depth reply. And this is, this is what I said. The squares can technically hold more, but filling them all the way and taking them can be unsafe because not everyone can swallow that much in one. So we recommend starting small and only doing as much as you're comfortable with. Now, also, the real key is ensuring that the paper has enough time to fully gel up before swallowing. For example, if it was filled with a lot of herbal powder, like but it's then dipped very quickly and put right into your mouth to swallow with water, you'll find that it's much harder, almost like a ball, um, and this is not safe and it can actually hurt going down. So I said, in my opinion, the best technique for herbal powder, like is to use the float method and room temperature water. And this gives the paper enough time to fully gel up, ensuring it's soft and pliable for swallowing. Now to expand on that a little bit more, so um, I said to use the float method and room temperature water because the temperature of the water actually changes how fast the paper gels up. So if you're using really cold water, it can actually take three times or even four times longer to gel up than it would normally because it's so cold. And the same thing goes for hotter water. So if you have hot water or like warm water, it's been like a little warmed up in the microwave, it'll actually go twice as fast, three times as fast. So you want to just do room temperature water. I find that's the best. It's fairly uh, quick and easy. I kind of want to just go over ways to take both so that you can get an idea of what you can do with the squares versus what you can do with the pouches. It's also important to remember that you should only be taking, you know, like two, maybe three grams in these. I mean, although you can do more, it's really not safe to try to swallow a lot, especially if it hasn't had time to fully gel up. And I thought it'd be cool to demonstrate that. I also want to show you like a little tip to make these squares like pouches and that way they're easier to swallow and they're actually better for like pre-making too. So we have some spring water here. So I'm going to pour this water in. So now we have this uh, cup full of water. This is a square blade paper, okay? Square blade paper, square shape. This is a pouch blade paper. It is in a cone pouch shape, and that's what that is. I'm going to put this in one of the new stands we're testing out a little prototype here you're seeing anyway now typically when you're taking powder and you're using a square what you're doing is you're just putting powder right in the center like this right and so when you do this you can definitely put you know more than one scoop and you should be using a scale really to know exactly how much powder you're taking so that it's consistent every time but as you can see you do have the ability to put more powder in this just because it's a little bigger than the uh, space in this pouch. The best part about the pouch is that it's already in the shape for swallowing and that's really key here. And so when you take this, you just fold over the top like that, kind of fold this side a little more and you have it like this, right? Okay, just like that. And this is when you, you dip this in the water and like I said earlier, the key is to make sure that it gels up enough. Since we're using an herbal powder, like the tea powder here, you know what I'm talking about, you can use the float method. And this is my favorite because it ensures it has enough time to fully gel. And remember, this is only with herbal powders. If you try to use the float method with a pure white powder like magnesium, it will sink. So you, don't, you only wanna do this with herbal powders that float. That's really important to remember. But anyway, the float method looks like this. You dip it. And as soon as it gels up a little bit, you just drop it. And so this, you can see it floats here for a little bit. You can let it sit there for like a good 10, 20 seconds. And then once it's really fully gelled, you can either go ahead and use a spoon or you can uh, just even put it towards your mouth and just let it kind of float to the side and swallow it. And then you just drink it whole down because um, it already has the water in your mouth when you go to swallow it. So it would look like something like this. Do I get my mouth in the way? But it's interesting because the whole thing is giving enough time. You can also just kind of hold it there without getting your fingers wet, just hold it halfway in. That works too, you know, it, it would look like something like this. So normally you just take, take a square, you just lift up both sides so that it's kind of upwards. You can just twist it off, try to make it narrow, kind of like this. 
while you're holding it shut, you're just going to put it in the water and let it gel. You could also drop it, but I would just hold it in the water like this. And then once it's got like nice and soft, then you put it in your mouth and you swallow it with water. See how it, uh, see how it just soaks there. So you can do this with powder because it takes a while to fully gel up. But now that it's got, it's been there, it looks pretty nice and soft. You see how that looks? It looks soft and it's like it'll be easy to swallow with water. But I just prefer to do the whole floating because it's easier. Now here's a trick that if you're using the squares, this will both let you take more safely. Obviously you don't want to fill it as much as possible, but the whole goal is to get the square in the same shape as the pouch. And you know, this is convenient because it's already shaped like this for you, but if you want to use the squares, you know, because 200 comes in the pack versus 120 with the pouches. So you want to make the uh, squares last longer. You just take the square, fold it in half like this, fold it diagonally like that. You just kind of lick along the top right here like that. And then you just kind of fold it down. You can fold it over, you fold it however you want, but you just want to fold it once licked so it really gels together well. And you can also make the tip a little less harsh so you can kind of fold the tip a little. And so then what you have is basically the same thing as the cones, except this cone obviously is much bigger. See, our pouches are made from two by two inch squares basically. And this is almost a four by four inch square. So if you make a cone out of this, it's much larger, but that doesn't mean that you should fill this whole thing up and swallow because that's unsafe. That's not what we're recommending. We're just recommending that to get it in a easier to swallow shape. And so you could fit a little more in it if you don't have any problem swallowing it, that this is one way that you can do that. So now that it's in the shape, you just go ahead and take the powder and really Again, I would not do that much. This is already a fair amount. You definitely don't want to go, I would only stick to like a third of this whole size. I mean, really, this is a big one. Uh, this is almost too much right here. This is a great way also, if you're going to seal the squares to take later, because you really get it in there well and it stays strongly held. But you don't have to do that. You could just fold it like the pouches, basically, and just, you know, dip this in water and swallow this. If you're going to uh, seal it to go, you know, you can just do this. And boom, now you got a uh, tape to go ready to take. But this is uh, one way to fit more into the squares and to make it more like the easy to swallow pouches. I just can't stress enough. You wanna make sure that the tape has fully gelled before you swallow it. With herbal powders, it takes longer to gel. That's why you can use the float method like in our instructional videos where you just let the pouch float on top of the water and you know wait 15 to 20 seconds and then swallow it because then it's already fully gelled. Whereas with powders such as this magnesium here, it takes much uh, less time to fully gel because this is like a dense powder. So if you fill this up, fill a pouch up, you put it in water and you actually let go of it, it won't float. It'll fall right to the bottom. And then, you know, your pouch is down in the bottom of the water. <laughs> this just makes it so that it'll break open and gel through and you might taste it quicker. So you just want to do something like this. Just dip it, put it in your mouth and you swallow it within like three or seconds or so. Or um, with something like this, you have a lot, a lot longer to do that. But anyway, back to uh, the original guy who asked the question, you know, what holds more of the squares or the pouches? Well, uh, generally, you want to take about the same in both as much as, you know, you're comfortable with. You know, two to three grams is, is, is most, most people should do. But the squares technically can hold more than the pouches, especially if you use that, that cone method to get them in the right shape, but just be smart about what you're taking.